And we stay, start with the latest concerns about the Korean economy. And while it's still not nearly as bad as the situation in Japan, and growth is still fairly steady compared to much of the world, fears are growing that Korea could be slipping into a long-term economic slump. Right. Some analysts have even suggested deflation may be settling in. Kim ji reports. There are growing fears about deflation fanned by expectations consumer price increases will remain trapped in the 1% range for the second consecutive year. Statistics Korea says prices rose a mere 1.2% on year in October and were down 0.3% from the previous month. The so-called core inflation rate, which excludes oil and food, edged up 1.8% on year, but that's the slowest increase since February. Prices of agricultural livestock and fisheries products drop 1.9 percent a month. At this level, some analysts worry the situation in Korea will reflect what happened in Japan in the early 1990s when Japan found itself in a long-term economic slump. Unlike Japan in the 1990s, Korea is recording positive growth, but there is certainly a risk of deflation if low consumer prices continue for several years. We expect consumer prices to pick up next year. However, the low price trend will likely continue as global growth measures are focused on the service sector and on consumer products rather than on manufacturing. The consumer price increase in Korea was lower than Japan's in September by two percentage points, the widest margin ever recorded. Kim Jeong, Arirang News.